Hello everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to Tiny the Pup Tech. In today's video, we have here this uh, HP desktop. Uh, I can't remember exactly what model it is, but my brother has been using this for a while to uh, do some kind of music production stuff, and just a few days ago, it stopped working. Uh, and when we turn it on, we'll demonstrate the problem. It just beeps five times, and then doesn't really do anything else. Um, if we give it a few minutes, the fans will start ramping up really aggressively, and then it'll just power off. Now, I'm not really sure what's wrong with this, um, and so in today's video, we're just kind of gonna we're bleh, just going to go through the process of elimination and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it and if we can fix it. So let's get into it. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to try is because uh, after a little while the fans, the CPU fan ramps up really aggressively, I'm just going to uh, try repasting it. Uh, it's possible that it's just the thermal paste is really old and it's just getting really overheated and that's causing the problem. Uh, so I'm going to try that first. I need to grab my screwdrivers. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the cooler off now. Please excuse the dog barking in the background. Yeah, oh, this is not the right screwdriver. Um, there we go. Huh. Well, that still looks. Oh, that's very fresh. Uh, so that is probably not the issue. See, I guess we can check if it's been seated correctly. Oh wow, that's a lot of thermal paste on here. Oh god. Hmm. I'll just clean that off before I start messing with it. Okay. Okay, this looks alright. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that. So that's good. Uh, I can put some fresh thermal paste on anyways. And then I guess just kind of move on to the next possible culprit, which would probably have to be the RAM. I don't think that would be the issue, because that RAM is still fairly new. But you never know. i can probably put a little bit less on this time. It was kind of going everywhere when I took the cooler off, but I guess it's better to have a bit too much than not enough. Probably be... should just go on this way. Now, I'll just try, let's see, so there are two kits of memory in here. There's a newer one, which is the red ones, right here and here, and then there's this old stick that was originally in this computer. 
I'll take that out first, because that is probably, if it's the RAM, it's probably that one that's failed, because it's the oldest. At least that would kind of make sense. Uh-oh. Get this stupid thing back on here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good enough for now. Turn it on. Oh, the power sunlight. Uh... Oh, it didn't beep. Hasn't beeped yet. And it's posted. Uh oh. Should be fine. And we are booting into Windows. So, this was just this bad memory module. That's a relief. Well, we've made progress, but now we're getting this error message. Well, unfortunately, I was not able to figure out the start menu issue, but it does mostly work now. Uh, we got rid of the faulty RAM, and so it actually powers on and posts properly. And that was the main goal today. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.